you were named the Central Division All-Star coach for the upcoming All-Star game. What does that mean to you? It means our team has been playing really well. Um, our players, I mean, when you get an individual uh, reward, uh, it's never because of you individually. It's because of the way we've been drafting. It's because of the way we've been playing. It's because of the way the players have been playing. It's because of uh, how the, 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 the assistant coach are, are working. I, I'm really excited to go there to represent the organization, but it's really on the, at the end of the day, the players are playing extremely well and we won some games and that's why I'm there. Coach, what's it like when you know one of your players gets called up and gets a stint? Does it bring a certain level of confidence in the room, whether themselves or their teammates? Well, of course. Uh, I mean, they're, they're here to be over there. And um, there, there's a process, and it's different for, for everybody. But every time a player gets called up, it's, it's a great experience. Um, and being around those uh, the big boys and, and uh, living the experience of the NHL, uh, that's, um, that's, why, that's why we exist. And uh, when it happens and they come back and bring that experience with us, it's, um, it's always very positive. To ask uh, from a, a personal level, a year like this, um, do, you, do you find yourself are you coaching any differently this year than you were, say, a year ago when obviously times are a little tougher? Uh, is it natural that you find some changes in, in the way you, you handle the team? Well, I think you need to adjust uh, every year depending on your group. Um, I don't. I can't say I coach differently, but it's we're adjusting differently. To you have to adjust to your recent success or or failures, and and uh, keeping the group in a positive mind is is the mindset is is the objective. I've said it, and I'm going to repeat myself until I die. You're never as good as you think you are. Or you're never as bad as you think you are. And and right now we're in a good place, and we're we're playing extremely extremely well and it's uh, one part of it that's because of our team chemistry and and because of the team chemistry is so strong and the players are are taking a lot of uh, responsibilities on on how they uh, prepare for a game or prepare for practice and then stuff like that it makes my job a little bit different but I, I don't think I, I coach differently our expectations is to push our players and to help them achieve their goal and and I think a coach is like a GPS in your car. We're, we know their destin We know where they want to go, and we're there to help them achieve their goals. When, when maybe that doesn't happen as quickly as anticipated, a year like last season, is it natural that even as a coach, you personally, where you go home, you say, "Am I doing the right thing here?" I mean, because you can always talk about the future and what you think is going to happen, but obviously to the reality is what it is, and there was some pretty tough times there for a long time. There is, there was, for sure. And, and you, you always, I think, one thing I've learned over, over the years is there's always a better way. There's always a way to improve. And when things are not going well as a team or you're not um, uh, winning games, um, Especially at this level, you have to keep things in perspective. And how do you improve um, you, not only your team but the players individually? And and the last year, the focus was winning the smaller battles and winning um, the details of the game, which are um, different for every single individual. So for Jack Rosovic, for example, was you know having more stop and starts in this game and and being a good. F1 on the forecheck, his offensive zone forecheck, moving his feet. He's got all the talent. So we were working on that. And when we saw the improvement, that was a small battle that we won. Um, guy like uh, when you last year, I mean, we had some guys like Nelson Nogier playing for the Jets and uh, for a pretty long time. And then uh, that was a win for us. So the focus, I know we're winning now, and it, it's great. It's awesome, and it's it's it, that's what we want to build—a winning culture and everything. But the mission stays the same. We're here to develop players, and and the final results of the games uh, are important to us because it tells us where we are uh, compared to the other teams in the league. But at the end of the day, we're here to develop individuals.